Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to your lower body workout today. Today I'm going to do two big giant sets. So I'm gonna take four exercises in each set and go through one little circuit and then we'll repeat that again. And then we'll jump into the next giant set and do two circuits of those also. I'm gonna do 45 seconds on with a 15 second in-betweener. Um, just to switch over. So it's gonna be fairly quick through the circuits, but remember to go at your own pace. This is about you. Um, I am going to use dumbbells and I'm going to use my booty band also. If you don't have a booty band, don't worry about it. I will give you lots of options. Um, again, and I'm going to use the dumbbells. So I've got a range from eight to 12 to 15 pounds. If you are just starting out, just follow along with the movement patterns. You can just use your body weight. That's all you need to do. As I say, movement is the key. So as long as you are moving, moving along with us. Um, also, if you feel like you only wanna do one round of each and rest in between, you can also do that. So there's so many options. So let's warm it up, get us going, make sure everything's warm and ready. And when you need water, please feel free to grab it at any time. Um, also, if you need to wipe that brow, alrighty? Anyways, let's just start off with our feet about shoulder width apart. Now I'm gonna move between this direction and this direction, just so you can see what I'm gonna do. All right, so we're gonna just take some big breaths up, and we're gonna exhale, big breath up. And exhale, let's do that two more times. Big breath up. So again, you're not, you don't have to worry about the music today. The music will be behind you, but no worried about going about the beats. That's it. And one more time. Awesome. And then just shake it out, just shake out those shoulders nice and easy. Now I'm gonna turn this direction. And I'm gonna start to work towards the floor a bit. So we're gonna take a big breath up. We're gonna exhale into forward fold and then we're just gonna kind of nice and easy move from side to side. Just taking some big breaths here. Then we're gonna place our hands to the ground. We're gonna step back into a plank position. Then we're gonna go into a, just a little bit of a dog, down dog. We're gonna walk that dog for a second. Take a big breath. Place the heels to where you're comfortable. Then we're gonna drop to the knees. Then we're gonna go into a nice cow, reaching up, lifting the tail, lifting the head. And then we're gonna tuck the tail, pushing the ground away. And then we're gonna come back to that neutral spine and we're gonna tuck the toes again and go back to that down facing dog. We're just gonna walk that dog nice and gentle. Taking some big breaths, pressing that chest towards the thighs. And then we're gonna come back down towards the knees again. And we're gonna look up, lift the tail. And then we're gonna tuck the tail and that sternum and push the ground away. And then we're gonna lift the tail, walk the dog again, nice and easy. We're just gonna go a couple rounds like this, warming everything up. And then placing the heels one more time. Back to the knees again, looking up, lifting the tail, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. And we're gonna tuck the tail, pushing the ground away. And then again, lifting that tail, pressing the chest towards the thighs. Just walking that dog nice and gentle. And then taking one more big breath, pressing the heels. And then one more time, just looking up. Rolling through that spine. And then tucking the toes, lifting that tail. Walking that dog one more time. Awesome. And then we're gonna press the heels nice and gentle. Taking a big breath, coming back to all fours. We're gonna extend one leg out. We're gonna bring the arms in front. We're just gonna gently rock into the hips, nice and easy. So we open up those hips. We're just gonna go five of these, nice and gentle. That's three. Let's go two more. Two. And then one more to go, and one. And then bringing that foot back in. We're gonna switch sides, and make it nice and easy. Just gently rocking back, bringing it in. Again, really pushing the ground away. Relax the shoulders from the ears. Taking some big breaths, really opening up through those hips, letting those hips come right back. And let's go one more time. Awesome. And then we'll bring it back to the center, bringing it back in. We're gonna come back to that down dog, walk it one more time, nice and gentle. Then we're just gonna step those feet between the hands, bending the knees. We're gonna take a big breath up. We're gonna exhale and we're gonna roll one more time, awesome. 
and then just shake that out and then just give me a little kicks right here so nice little kicks opening up those quads in front and all I want you to do is let your arms swing side to side awesome guys four more three two and last one taking it into a squat pulling the shoulder blades together into that squat pulling the shoulder blades awesome letting those hips come back and down really putting the weight into the midfoot into the heel squeezing those shoulder blades let's go four more four taking it at your own pace three watching that the knees don't fall in two and then the last one then we'll take the hands behind the head and we'll go into that little hinge so hinging forward squeezing the glutes up so we really want to focus on letting those hips shoot back to the back of the room so let them reach to the back of the room nice gentle bend in the knees and again pinching those shoulder blades together last four good squeeze of the glutes at the top and you just want to make sure you're not arching your back two more and then the last one and let's do one of each so we'll take it down into the squat we'll squeeze and then we'll hinge nice and easy squeeze so down into the squat into that hinge nice and gentle squatting and hinging beautiful you guys looking good so good to be with you guys today let's go three more three awesome two more to go two just warming up all those movement patterns that we're going to use and last one now nice and easy stay into the squat so you can take it in a little abduct keeping the hands behind the head so we're going to squat we're going to lift squat we're going to lift nice a little abduction there four more three two and last one then I'm gonna squat bring a knee in squat bring a knee in awesome you guys looking good four more three I'm breathing heavy already two and then last one then bring those knees in just give it a big tuck Big tuck in, awesome, looking good. Four more to go. Working on that balance, getting that nervous system all ready. Awesome. Last two, I think I did two more than I was supposed to. And then there's a little side shift. Bring the arms back up. A little side shift, bring the arms back up. Remember, take this at your own pace. It doesn't have to be fast, we wanna keep them exercise is in good control so again make sure you feel in control of that movement awesome nice open chest let's go for two more beautiful and then the last one then step it in bring those little heels to your bum again let the arms float side to side beautiful four more three two and then last one and just tap it reach it out just really bringing up that body temperature preparing us now reach it up big reaches you got this awesome and then again circle it in circle big circles four three and then let it float to the side again just bring it in awesome four three and then give me the heel kicks again so a little kick that butt beautiful we got this let's go eight more of those eight seven six five four three two and then big reaches again reach reach four more of those really opening everything up then reach it up again eight seven six five four three two and then last one let it float to the side awesome big floats two more then we'll circle it in again big circles big circles 
Awesome. Last two. And the last one. Give it a shake. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to go. So grab some water if you need it. We're gonna start off with that booty bend. So we're gonna put that guy around above the knees. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I don't crash and fall here. So we want them sitting above the knees so we're not putting any stress around the knee joint themselves. Okay, so it's nicely placed above the knees. And then I'm gonna pick up a weight. So if you don't want to use a weight, you don't have to. The key here is making sure that we're knee, our knees aren't falling in, we're keeping tension throughout that band. And I'm gonna start off with a goblet squat with a pulse in between. So we wanna again pull the band where we have nice hip knee ankle alignment. We're gonna sit into the squat, we're gonna pulse, hold and back up, okay? So we're gonna go 45 seconds on and then we'll switch and we'll drop that weight, okay? So nice and ready, are you ready? Here we go. So one little pulse, squeeze up. That's it. Squeezing up, take it at your own pace. Let the hips come back and down, putting the weight in the midfoot heel. Good squeeze of the glutes. Remember, keeping tension on the band. Chest stays up. You got it, guys. Beautiful. Little pulse hold. Awesome. So it's a little down, up, and right up. We got this. We got 15 more seconds, you guys. Breathing, squeezing, and having fun always. You got it, team. Okay, I think we got one more. Beautiful. Bring it back up. We're gonna drop that weight. We're gonna keep that band on. And we're gonna go into a little bit of a lifting abduction, okay? So we don't wanna wobble too much side to side. Are you ready? Here we go. So we got 45 seconds. Nice little lifts. Beautiful. So really focusing on those smaller glutes that really help stabilize our pelvis. And I'm talking about it a lot. As we age, we really wanna rely on these muscles to keep our pelvis stable so we don't fall. Awesome, you guys. Good squeezing. Oh yes. Burn, baby, burn. We got 15 seconds left. Keep breathing. I'm breathing. That's it. Okay, five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Give it a shake. And we're gonna take that and we're gonna direct it into a squeeze back. So we're gonna go on a diagonal with this one, okay? So think of that big muscle back there, the glute max. We got three, two, and one. So nice squeeze. You wanna really be mindful of what the glutes are doing, okay? Squeeze them. Remember, it's not about throwing the leg back there. It's what those glutes are doing. Nice hip extension. It's not a huge range of motion here. That's it, you guys. Good squeeze. Oh, yes. Happy glutes. Always and forever. We got this. Go, team, go. Okay, we've got 15 more seconds left. 15 little seconds. Okay, now 10. We can do anything for 10. You got it, team. Beautiful. That's it. Last three, two, and one. Whew. Give it a little bit of a shake. Next exercise, we're gonna add a squat with an abduction. So it looks like this. Squat, little abduction, squat. And then a little squat and a squeeze back, okay? So two of each. Are you ready? Get set and go. Here we go. So squat, abduct, squat, abduct, squat, squeeze back, squat, squeeze back, squat, little abduct. You got it, team. Looking good. We got this. Really be mindful of those glutes. Oh, my bum is burning. That's it. You got it. 15 seconds to go, you guys. Oh, yes. Looking good. Okay, we got 10 seconds. Can do anything for 10. Oh, yeah. We can. And then last one here. Whew. And then give it a shake. Whew. Okay. Take 30 seconds. 
grab a little bit of water. We're gonna pick up that dumbbell again and we're gonna go one more round like that. We got one more round in us, guys. We got it. So same thing, going back to that goblet squat, just keeping the tension on the band. We've got the pulse squats down and up. Okay, are you ready? Get set and go, here we go. So down halfway, back up, squeeze. Down, squeeze, I'm cracking here. And again, keeping tension on that band so the knees don't fall in. You got it. Oh yes, chest stays up. Putting the weight back into the midfoot heel. Like really feel anchored there. I'm flicking away here. Oh yeah, chest stays up. Breathe. We've got 10 seconds. Oh yeah, happy bones. Looking good, team. A little pulse. Can you give me one more? Oh yeah, we can do this together. Shake it out. Drop that little dumbbell, but not on your toe. Again, going into the abductors, just on the spot. On your mark, get set, and go. Here we go. Little lift, little lift. Awesome. We got 45 seconds here. My bum is burning. It's gonna be happy tomorrow. I think it's happy already. That's it, team. Awesome. So we don't wanna to lean too much, but you got a little bit of a lean there, really focusing on those smaller muscles again. Oh yes, we got 10 more seconds. That's it. Good job, guys. So remember, if you don't have a booty band, you're just following along with the movements. Last three, two, and one. Give it a shake. Whew. Going back to the extension, that hip extension. Again, we're gonna angle out with it, really getting the bigger glute max. Are you ready? Here we go. Big squeeze of those glutes. Squeezing, squeezing. Awesome. You got it. Beautiful. So remember, we want to be really mindful of those glutes. Squeeze them rather than throwing that leg way back there. Keeping that core strong. Oh, yes. Hanging in there. We're always hanging in there, aren't we? Okay, we got 10 seconds to go, you guys. We can do anything for 10 seconds. I know I always say that, but we can, can, can. Okay, last four, three, two, and one. Give it a shake. Then we're gonna go back to the squat with the two abductors and the two squeeze backs, okay? Are you ready? Just give it a shake. Keep tension on that band. Here we go. Squat, lift, squat, lift, squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze. So same thing, if you don't have a band, just following along with those movement patterns. Think of those glutes. Squatting, squeezing. Awesome. We got this. 15 seconds to go. Beautiful. Go, team, go. Oh, yes. Last 10. My bum is burning. Okay, one more time each. We got this. Awesome. Last one. Okay, you can take that baby off and give that butt a shake. Whew. Well, round one down. So we did the two giants, two giant rounds of those exercises. On to the next set of exercises. We're gonna get a little bit of lunges, a little bit of dead lifting in there, hip thrusts in there. So we're gonna start off with a forward back lunge. I'm gonna switch out to my 12 pound weight this time. And we're gonna hold it in a goblet position, okay? So it looks like this, we're gonna come into a forward. You're not gonna fall like me. And back. So pause in the center, forward, and back, okay? Then in between we'll alternate, and then we'll switch sides, okay? So we got about a minute and 30 seconds here. We'll rest in between each leg, okay? Are you ready? Here we go, nice and easy. So same thing, take it forward, nice tall body, pause in between, lunging back. 
So taking it forward 90 degrees, push through that heel in front. You got it. That's where you want to put most of your load, right in that front leg. Awesome, you guys. Looking good. Hanging in there, keeping that body nice and tall. Make sure you're not dropping those hips back, okay? One more time. And then I'm gonna alternate right here. So you're gonna just shift back into that alternating lunge. Keeping that body tall, nice 90 degrees with those knees. Awesome, you guys. Hanging in there. Couple more to go. Then we're gonna breathe for a second. Last two. Okay, you got one more to go. And then give it a shake. Then we'll hit the other side, okay? So forward back lunge on the other side. I'll flip this way. Keeping that body nice and tall. Are we ready? On your mark, get set, and go. Here we go. So we have a forward and shifting back. Nice 90 degrees with the knees. Oh yes. Hanging in there. Nice little pause in between. That's it, guys. And again, keeping the pelvis nice and neutral. Try not to let that butt go back. Almost there, we got five seconds left. Then we're gonna alternate. Okay, let's go one more time forward back. Awesome. Taking it back, then alternating. We'll shift back. Beautiful. Keeping that body nice and tall. Long through the spine. Press through that front heel. Oh yeah. You got this, you guys are amazing. You are. We're having fun now. 10 more seconds. Beautiful. Okay, last two lunges, we'll fit them in. And last one. Awesome, give it a shake. Hanging in there. We're gonna go into now a side lateral lunge. So while you're taking a breath, this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna kind of take it down, but I'm gonna pick up the weight as we come back up. So it's down, drive in, okay? I'm gonna go one side, and then we'll switch to the other side. 45 seconds each side. On your mark, get set, and go long hinge through the spine, drive up. Now you wanna keep the feet parallel to the floor, stuck to the ground. Go at your own pace, bringing it up. If you're dropping it down, chest stays up. Beautiful, let those hips hinge back. You got it, so we're working the abductors and the adductors here. Getting them all in there. Beautiful. Got lots going on here. We've got it, guys. We've got 10 more seconds. Breathing her out. Awesome. Shake, take a breath, and we're hitting the other side. I hope you guys are feeling good. Remember, if you need a break, take a break. Grab water whenever you need it. Here we go, we're dropping down, dropping back up, dropping down to the side. Then you put your hands on the hips if you want. We just wanna keep that spine long and that chest lifted, okay? Beautiful. seconds to go. Oh yeah. You push really long, strong, and beautiful. Remember to breathe. Sometimes we don't. <laughs> and I think it's the number one necessary thing to do is breathe. Last two seconds. And last one. Give it a shake. Awesome job. Okay. So I'm gonna go into a deadlift squat now. You can use both two weights. You can use one weight. You don't have to use any weight at all. I'm, I think I'll stick with the one weight. I'll go to the sec double weights in a second to show you. So it looks like this. We've got the hinge. 
squeeze, bring it back up into a squat, okay? So it's just a hinge, good squeeze, and at the end, the last 10 seconds, we'll just hinge, okay? So on your mark, get set, and here we go, 45 seconds. So we're hinging, we're bringing it back up, letting the hips come back and down. On this one, let those hips just drive back to the opposite end of the room, that's it, and back in. Beautiful, keeping the chest up, really long through that spine, squeezing those glutes as you come up, but don't arch the back. That's it, guys, beautiful. Okay, one more, and then we're gonna just stick with that hinge for 30 seconds, okay? Awesome, so just hinging, hinge, squeeze the glutes at the top. Nice, slow on the way down, drive up a little faster. Slow on the way down, keeping the weight close to the legs, and again, letting the hips right back. Let's go two more. Awesome. And then one more to go. Beautiful, giving them a little bit of a shake. Now I'm gonna take you to the floor, and we're gonna go into a little bit of a squat thrust. So I'm gonna take it onto the bench. I will give you an option if you don't want the bench, I'll give you a little bit more of an easy, or if you don't even have a bench. We're gonna place the weight on the hip. Hands will be in the side. If you've got the weight, you are gonna hold that weight. Double chin always when you're doing a th hip thrust. We're gonna come up, squeeze the glutes at the top, but don't arch the back so it comes down, and then you drive up, okay? If you do not have this, you can always place it on the floor. Same thing, squeezing up. Heels will be right directly under your knees and it's hip knee ankle alignment. You wanna keep those ribs nice and flat. And I think we're ready to go. Have a little bit longer break, but we gotta show you what you're doing. Here we go. So good, squeeze up, release down. Good, squeeze and release. Squeeze, so that board should be kind of just right where the scapula ends, that's those shoulder blades. Good, squeeze and release, you guys. We've got 50, 20 more seconds left. Awesome. Good, squeeze and release. You got it, so same thing. Remember to keep the ribs flat and not to arch the back when you come up. Five seconds left. And the last one, awesome job, dropping that weight, bring it to the side, slowly bring yourself up, give it a shake out. We got one more round like that. Taking some big breaths here. Awesome job, you guys, really good. So we're gonna go back to the forward back lunge, and then we'll switch sides. We'll do the alternating in between the one leg, and then we'll switch sides. So I'm gonna face this way just so you can see. Again, keeping that body nice and tall, when you're ready, on your mark, get set, and go. So we're gonna take it forward, step center, and backwards, step center. Nice and tall through that spine. Beautiful. Just taking your time. Don't rush through it. We'd, I would rather see fat, again, slow pace, good form. Awesome, you guys. Keeping it nice and tall. Okay, we have 10 seconds left. And then we've got 30 seconds alternating with the lunges, then we'll shake it out. One more. Then we'll switch back, so just alternate back. We've got 30 seconds here. Beautiful, nice and tall. Put that weight in the midfoot heel long through the spine. Awesome. Almost there. Five seconds to go, guys. Whew. Last three, last two, and last one. Give it a shake. Awesome, so we're gonna flip to the other side. We got 15 seconds to recover. If you need a little bit more time, take that time, grab that water, wipe that brow. Okay, are you ready? On your mark, get set, and go. So again, forward, 
Step center, backwards, nice and tall. There are days that I breathe heavier. Today, I think I'm breathing heavier. You know how some days you feel better than other days, that's for sure. But you never regret a workout. You always feel so good after doing that workout. Get those good hormones going. Feel good hormones. We love them. We got five seconds, you guys. One more time. And then let's alternate right here. So just taking it back nice and tall. You know, exercise does so much for us on every level of life, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. It just keeps us grounded and it just renews ourselves. It's so generating, generating greatness. Last two and one more. Awesome, you guys, give it a shake. Whew. Breathing heavy now, really heavy. When you're working large muscles, lots of blood and oxygen required to flow here. Okay, so we're going back to the side lateral with the arm on the shoulder. So again, we'll take it down, we'll drive back up. Take it down, drive back up. Awesome. You got it, team. Breathe wherever you're comfortable with that arm. Keep the shoulders back, chest is up. We're having fun. I promise you, we are having fun. Oh yes, 10 more seconds. That's it. Okay, last five. We got this. And last one right here. Awesome, give it a shake. Taking it back to the other side. Big breaths in. Are you ready? On your market set. Other side, here we go. So we're gonna drop across. We're gonna back up wherever you're comfortable with that arm. Just keeping that spine long. Oh yeah, whoo! Having fun, same thing. Take it at your own pace. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. Control is the key. Awesome. 15 seconds to go. That's it. Drive. You got it, girls, boys. Who's ever with me? Last one. Awesome. Shake it out. Going back to our deadlift squat and then to finish that set, the deadlifts. So we'll take a big breath. This time, again, if you are using double weights because you want to go a little heavier, go for it. I'll just go with the doubles just to show you. So are you ready? Hinge into that squat. So nice and easy with that hinge. Bring it back up into that goblet squat position. Awesome. So nice hinge, squeeze the glutes at the top. Back into that goblet, that goblet squat. Awesome. Hinging, good squeeze. Awesome. Little hinge. Squeezing up, keeping the weight nice and close to the legs on that Roman deadlift. And back up. Awesome, you guys. 15 seconds to go. Hinge, tuck that chin. Beautiful. Little hinge. Squeeze. Okay, we can get one more in here. Good hinge. And squeeze, and then just stay with that hinge. It's nice and slow, good squeeze at the top. So slow down, squeeze at the top. So we can work a little faster on that positive. We wanna work a little bit slower on the negative as we go down, as we lengthen those muscles and we shorten on the way up. Awesome. Keeping those shoulders stacked. Couple more. One more to go. We got this. Awesome, you guys. Okay, shake it out. Going back to the floor or the bench, whatever is more comfortable for you. Or if you don't have a bench, again, just taking it right to the floor. So same thing. Wanna place that weight comfortably on those hips. 
Again, chin is double chopped when we come up, ribs are flat, okay? Squeezing the glutes, so we're coming up, back down, up. We don't want that head dropping back. Squeeze the glutes, so you're almost feeling the pelvis rotate and then squeeze. Squeeze the glutes, release. Beautiful, so hip knee ankle alignment, don't let the knees fall in. If you're on that floor, you're with me right here. Squeezing, keeping those ankles. I'm hitting my head on the board here. You got it. Got to scoot down a bit. I think we got five seconds left, guys. Five, four, three, two. Let's go 10 extra sec seconds here. You got it, guys. Squeeze that butt. Beautiful. Last two. And last one, awesome job, you guys. You can just take that weight, you can take it down, and then just bring those knees in, circle out those little angles, and take some big breaths, just shaking it out. Awesome, you guys. Nice and easy. And then we're gonna take the legs up, and we're just gonna float down. Just again, a nice, again, dynamic, kind of passive stretch going on here through those hamstrings. Beautiful. Just taking some big breaths. We'll go a couple more. You got it. And the last two. Actually two more because I think I started with this leg. And then the last one. Awesome, you guys. And just bring those knees into the chest. And again, circle those ankles one more time. Circle them the other way. Awesome. And then just slowly release those feet to the ground. Taking a big breath. We're gonna just cross that one leg in. So same thing, if this is as far as you need to go to feel those hip rotators stretch, those glutes, then this is as far as you need to go. If you wanna take it a little bit farther, you can bring it in towards you, making sure that the pelvis is on the floor and that this knee, if it's falling in, just gently press it away. Taking some big breaths. And then just relaxing, sinking into it, you guys. You did awesome, that was great. And one more big breath. And then we're gonna slowly release. We're gonna cross that leg directly over. We're gonna place one arm out to the side and we're just gonna gently rotate towards the side, looking towards the opposite side, nice and easy. Just stretching through those glutes, those obliques, the back. And again, taking some big breaths. Awesome. And then one more big breath and slowly bring it back to the center. Bring that leg back in. We're gonna cross the other leg over top, bringing it in towards us. Same thing, is this is, if this is where you're comfortable, this is where I want you to stay. If you want to bring it in and you, even if you need a strap to bring through, or bring your foot up against that wall. And then again, if this knee is falling in slightly, just add a little bit of pressure where you're comfortable. And again, just taking some big breaths, really sinking into that hip. And then one more big breath. Then slowly release that leg back out. We're gonna cross that leg over again. We're gonna open up that other arm and we're gonna rotate to the other side. So when you're going into a rotation, you just wanna go nice and slow where you feel a nice gentle stretch through again those glutes into the side of the back, into those obliques. And again, taking some big breaths, just let everything relax. You worked hard, you deserve this. And then one more big breath. Sink a little bit deeper. And then slowly bringing it back to the center, bringing those knees back into the chest. And then just give me some circles around through that lower back, nice and easy. Taking little circles, and then slowly to the other direction. And then when you're ready, I just want you to rock yourself up. If you wanna push yourselves up, you can. And then we're just gently gonna come into that 90-90 position. I'm gonna take my hands behind. If this is where you're comfortable, this is where I want you to stay. We just want to open up the chest. If 
feeling the stretch through the hip and those quads. If you want to extend that stretch a little bit more, you're going to open up and you're going to press through that hip nice and gentle, pushing the ground away, taking some big breaths, really opening up through the side of the body into the hip. And then exhale, and then we'll shift to the 90-90. And same thing if you're comfortable here. If this is as far as you want to go. This is as far as you have to go. If you want to extend, extend nice and gentle. Some big breaths. And then exhale. Let's do that one more time each side, nice and gentle. And extend. And then one more time, nice and easy. Bringing it over. Extending. Awesome, you guys. And then one more time, bringing it back to the center, bringing those legs in front of us. We're going to take a big breath up. We're going to exhale to a seated forward fold. Now, if you have to bend the knees, you can. If you want to sit in a chair, you can also do that. So just taking some big breaths here. And then sinking a little bit deeper. And then slowly just walking ourselves back up cross-legged position or staying in that seated position nice and easy and then just roll those shoulders out take a big breath through your nose exhale through your mouth one more time exhale shake out those shoulders again and give yourself a high five awesome job you guys i hope you enjoyed this workout i hope your legs feel this tomorrow um, remember you are awesome and you can do anything that you put your mind to it. You are worth it. Remember movement is medicine. We got to keep moving as we age. We only feel better if we do. When we stop moving, we don't feel so good. So let's keep moving together. I love you guys. Please remember to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. You guys are awesome and I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day.